tourism is one of the world's fastest growing industries. Every year, millions of us head for the sun, sea and sand with one thing on our minds, having fun. But there are others that have been visiting warm sandy beaches for a lot longer than we have, who have watched the dinosaurs come and go and who now make room for us in their ancient world. Marine turtles have been swimming the world's oceans for over 110 million years, but now they are endangered. If we don't act now, they might be gone forever. The good news is that there are a few things that you can do to help stop this from happening. Marine turtles usually breed in the summertime. Both males and females swim for hundreds of miles before arriving at the sandy beaches at about the same time as we do. Turtles do most things slowly, including mating, which can take several hours. They also like to bask lazily at the sea surface. This makes them especially vulnerable to being hit by speedboats and jet skis. Every year, maimed turtles wash ashore with terrible and often fatal injuries. You can help. Don't drive speedboats or jet skis where there are turtles in the water. If you do use boats or jet skis, make sure you keep a lookout for any turtles nearby. Always drive slowly and keep a safe distance from any turtles you see. If you are lucky enough to see a turtle, make sure you keep your distance, as some turtles can deliver a very nasty bite. Believe it or not, turtles absolutely love to eat jellyfish. Sadly, they often mistake indigestible litter such as plastic bags for a tasty jellyfish snack. This can lead to a slow and painful death. You can help. Always dispose of litter responsibly. Never throw litter in the sea, never leave it on the beach, and never flush it down the toilet. Female turtles emerge at night to lay their eggs at the back of sandy beaches. They are very nervous and easily scared back to the sea by any movement, noise or lights on the beach. If she is repeatedly disturbed, a female turtle may dump her eggs at sea where they will certainly perish. You can help. Don't walk on turtle nesting beaches at night during the breeding season. Make sure there are absolutely no hotel or villa lights shining on the beach at night. Ask hotel managers to switch off any problem lights. And don't go to bars and restaurants that refuse to turn off their lights or that have been built illegally on turtle nesting beaches. Female turtles lay their eggs in the dry sand at the back of the beach and leave them to incubate in the heat of the sun. They are extremely vulnerable and may get squashed if walked, driven or ridden over. Beach furniture will compact the sand if placed on top of the nest. It will also shade out the all-important heat of the sun. And you can imagine what would happen to the eggs if a parasol spike were pushed through the nest. You can help. Don't drive vehicles or ride horses on turtle nesting beaches during the turtle breeding season. Avoid walking along the back of the beach. And during the day, keep all beach furniture close to the sea, ideally within a few metres of the water's edge. After about two months, the eggs hatch. The hatchling turtles dig upwards to the surface of the sand where they wait for nightfall. They make a dash for the sea under cover of darkness. And while the sea may be only a few metres away, this is the most hazardous time of a turtle's life. Predators patrol the beaches looking out for tasty hatchling snacks and we can make things worse. Beach furniture, sand castles, and holes dug in the sand can be lethal traps for the tiny hatchlings. You can help. Always make sure beach furniture is removed from nesting beaches before nightfall. 
level off any sandcastles and fill in any holes that have been dug on a turtle nesting beach. Just think, through this simple action, you might make the difference between life and death for a turtle. The tiny hatchlings find their way to the sea by running towards the brightest, lowest horizon, which is naturally created by the reflection of the moon and stars on the sea. Bright lights from any hotels and bars built behind turtle nesting beaches confuse the hatchlings. Instead of running to the sea, the hatchlings run inland towards the lights across roads and into gardens. You can help. Again, make sure there are absolutely no lights shining on turtle nesting beaches at night. And don't go to any illegally built bars and restaurants or those that refuse to turn off their lights. This way, you can help the hatchlings get to the sea and give them that extra chance of survival they need. The odds are really stacked against the hatchlings in the first few days of their life. It's thought that only one in 1,000 turtle eggs actually survives to become an adult. Turtles are in danger of extinction, and extinction is forever. But by doing your bit, you can give these spectacular animals the chance to survive for generations to come. If you want to meet Hatch the Turtle Hatchling and learn more about how tourism can make a positive difference to the environment, check out the Travel Foundation website. And if you want to find out more about endangered marine turtles and how you can help them, check out the website of the Marine Conservation Society.